Student friends, we always hear the word pollution every day in our day to day life. So, what is pollution? What all gets polluted and why? These are questions which always come up in our mind. The forms of nature which are harmed due to their misuse are said to be polluted. Man brings about changes in nature and the impact of this is visible. Due to the increase in the number of vehicles, increasing population, the widespread use of insecticides and fertilizers and wrong farming methods have polluted air, water and land. This is affecting all of us also. So friends, which things do we use around us? Think about which things have got polluted. Do we drink clean and pure drinking water? Do we get fresh and pure air? Is it quiet around us? Do think about it. We are now going to see what pollution is and how does it happen. The elements of nature on the earth together form the environment. Many constituents together make up an ecosystem. When there are harmful effects on the ecosystem, then pollution takes place. There is a source of the pollution as well as a receiver. The place from where pollution originates would be the source and where the pollution stops and harms the environment, man or animal, then they are the receivers or recipients. There are a lot of factors for pollution to happen and they are called pollutants. When the natural working of an ecosystem is hampered and when living and non-living things are adversely affected, then they are called contaminants. The contaminants can affect the growth of plants or species of animals to some extent. They can also interfere with human facilities, health and property. Some pollutants are biodegradable and so do not remain in that form in the environment. Student friends, now you tell the names of biodegradable and non-degradable pollutants or contaminants. Some products which are made from contaminants also add to pollution. Fertilizers are made from chemicals like nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus but they are necessary for farming. But insecticides destroy the harmful insects and also adversely affect human beings. Types of Pollution Many constituents of nature get polluted and so there are different types of pollution. Among them, air, water, noise and land pollution are the major ones. The most important pollution which is visible nowadays is air pollution. We are hearing that in Delhi, we need to wear masks when moving around as the air in Delhi is highly polluted. Let us first see what air means before we understand and discuss about air pollution. Different gases, dust particles and moisture are the main constituents of air. Among various gases, Nitrogen is the main constituent, approximately 78.09%, Oxygen 20.95%, Argon 0.93% and CO2 is present around 0.04%. The moisture level above the sea level is 1% while at a higher level in the atmosphere it is 0.4%. There are dust particles in the air and moisture gathers around them. These dust particles get formed by several ways. These dust particles play a very important role in the atmosphere. But when they come in the atmosphere as pollutants, then they contaminate the air. Generally, there are two kinds of dust particles. Some dust particles are extremely small that is less than 10 micrometer and can enter the body through breathing. Extremely minute dust particles are less than 25 micrometer and enter the lungs deep down, get deposited and remain there for a long time. If these particles are made of harmful elements, then they get mixed in the blood and contaminate blood, thereby damaging the health. When there are harmful effects on the ecosystem, then pollution takes place. The place from where pollution originates would be the source and where the pollution stops and harms the environment, man or animal, then they are the receivers or recipients.